Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Another video today is all about how to update your classics for 2022 and to make your classic pieces feel a little bit more modern. So as you know, I'm all about rewearing, getting those core basics together and having that kind of staple wardrobe that you can rely on. But I always think each season we need to kind of update that, refresh that, even if it's just the way we style it, not necessarily going to buy new pieces to style it with, but maybe thinking about different ways we can pair um, our classics with just to give them a fresh and modern feel. But that is the beauty of the classics is that um, no matter what the season, they can be updated to kind of fit the times. So um, that's another reason to invest in these pieces. I always think um, they're so versatile. So today's video, not this way, this way. Um, it's all about five classic pieces. I've kind of tried to not stay too wintry because you might come to this video at another time of year or it might be different in your country. Um, I've tried to pick kind of pieces that sort of cover all seasons. Um, maybe just a jumper that probably wouldn't. These pieces are all things we probably have in our wardrobes already. And if not, they are classic pieces and kind of in a capsule wardrobe. So what I'm going to do is basically show you and talk you through wearing all of the pieces in a way that kind of I wouldn't wear them or a way that feels a little bit dated to me and then contrast that against what I would wear them with now um, and kind of little tweaks you can do to update these pieces. Now I'm not saying the first outfits are necessarily a don't do, um, I'm just saying I wouldn't wear them in this way and I just feel like they're a little bit traditional but they're definitely not like bad outfits that you should never do. Um, they're just kind of examples of what feels a little bit um, slightly dated for me. So let us begin uh, with a pencil skirt, a traditional pencil skirt. This one is from Pixie Market. I've got a size small and it's got this amazing like slit up the side. Um, so just a black classic pencil skirt. It's always a wardrobe fail safe from going out in the evening. You can wear this casually um, to the office. So I would personally avoid styling this with something like simple ballet flats and a blazer. I think it feels a little bit too prim and pulled together and I just don't feel it has any edge to it. The blazer feels a bit too structured with the skirt. I just feel like this looks very, it's quite mumsy traditionally kind of outfit um, that I would try and avoid if possible because I think that's the key for these classic pieces um, to try and not wear them with anything that's too traditional. Or for example, the pencil skirt is very fitted. So what you don't want to do is go for something kind of fitted and boxy on top because there's no contrast within the outfit. So just showing you by contrast the outfit that I would wear, I've gone for this really oversized shirt. This is an old one from our cat actually, but I'll try and link something similar below. Again, the same with all of the pieces. Um, and I try and find alternatives uh, if I can't find the piece or if it's an older one. So I've gone for this really oversized boxy skirt, which like I said, counteracts the kind of slim fitting pencil skirt. And then I've balanced this oversized shirt out with these long boots. These boots feel really modern. They're from Karen Millen. They're an over the knee. I actually featured them in my recent Karen Millen haul. Um, but they're over the knee, the pointed uh, shape just feels really fresh and modern. So these kind of oversized modern pieces help to make this pencil skirt feel less traditional. And the same with the shilling bag. I think if you do want to kind of inject a bit of trend, something like a bag, a belt, accessories are a really easy and affordable way to do that. So if you aren't in winter, don't wanna wear boots, you could definitely do this look. Other ways you could go for maybe an oversized boxy t-shirt with some chunkier sandals. Um, I think actually any kind of sandal would look really cool with this. But again, it's all about that contrast dressing there. You've got a very formal pencil skirt. And then if you put some sandals on with that, you've immediately got the contrast of the casual and the formal together. And I think that's the key to making this kind of skirt work. So you could definitely do this for all different types of things. And the same with a jumper, you could go for a really oversized boxy knit with it um, and some chunky boots. So that's how I would do it for 
all kind of seasons. So let's talk next about a classic cashmere knit. So this one is from Weekend and Beyond. It's such a beautiful piece. I mean, how timeless is this? I just feel like you could have seen Audrey Hepburn wearing this in the 50s, but equally you could wear it now. But it is quite a traditional piece. Um, and obviously if you wear it in a certain way, like I'm showing here, with the gray trousers, with the loafers, not that this is a bad outfit, but it does feel very traditional, a little bit too done up, um, and also a little bit formal and slightly workwear. And I think that's something you actually have to avoid um, with these classic pieces. They can look a little bit like workwear, and obviously they're great to work wear for work, but um, you don't always want to. So um, just a tip to try and maybe not pair them with those structured workwear-like pieces, like the gray trousers and the loafers. So an absolute key and really, really easy, and something you don't even have to spend money on, tip for styling that jumper in a more modern way is by adding a white t-shirt underneath. The white neckline instantly kind of breaks up the fabric. It feels a little bit more modern. I don't know why, I don't know whether it's the crispness of the white, but it just feels a bit more thought out. I just think this is such a good look with the t-shirt layered underneath and also gives you a little bit extra warmth too. Also, I think if you are wearing a very traditional round neck jumper like this, then think about the fabrics that you're maybe pairing it with. So I've gone here for leather trousers and the leather instantly gives anything an edge. So if you are looking to sort of modernize your pieces, then think about injecting some leather into the outfit. And then the same with these high top leather converse. Um, they just kind of bring that white from the neckline right to the bottom of the shoes in case of the kind of color sandwich concept. Something I've gone into in a lot more detail on Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, so I'll link that below. And again, the converse just help to make this feel quite fresh and modern. So let's talk about this camel blazer. Again, a Karen Millen piece I've just featured in a recent haul. Um, it's such a lovely piece. Um, I explained there, I won't repeat myself too much, but um, that it's a really nice classy shade of camel. It's not like kind of orangey yellow camel that I don't really suit to be honest, but also I think that looks a little bit cheaper sometimes. It's just a real classic camel blazer with the double breasted style and two pockets as well. So you cannot go wrong with a camel blazer. I think it works for all seasons, all age groups, and all times. I think there's so many occasions you can wear this for, um, and it also really stands the test of time. However, I do think styled in certain ways, um, you can kind of ruin the look of this blazer. For example, here I've styled it with some skinny jeans and some ballet flats. And again, I just feel like this look is a little bit twee. There's not much balance to the outfit. We've got the oversized blazer, but then it's not balanced out by the footwear because the footwear is very dainty. It's a casual outfit, but I almost feel it looks a bit try hard almost. I can't explain it, but I do feel like it's got a slightly twee look about it. Um, so what I would do instead on the flip side Again, it's all about contrast dressing and that is an, like the key element to style is contrast dressing. So what I've done here is paired this smarter blazer um, and for a casual look, I would pair it with some joggers. Now, the thing with these joggers is because they're in a light shade, they instantly make the outfit feel a bit more pulled together because of the light color. I think if we'd had a, an all black, it would have killed the camel, whereas the all white, simple white t-shirt, classic light joggers really can bring out the camel and make it feel fresh and modern. I paired it with some trainers and then this structured bag from Demelier, and I think that dark red looks so good against the lighter colored tones. I love camel and red together. They are such a chic and timeless combination. But I think as well, the shape of this bag makes it feel more modern. So like I've mentioned, you've got that traditional piece of the camel blazer, but then you've combined it with modern things like the bag, like the joggers. And because these pieces kind of are a bit more thought out, the bag has this gorgeous braiding on it. It's the color that really makes it. 
the joggers being a lighter shade, because those pieces are thought out, it stops it from looking really scruffy, like you've not made an effort, and instantly becomes like you've really kind of tried in an effortless way. And the same with the pair of sunglasses I've popped on with this, just um, kind of completes the look. So it's all about accessories and those small details, like thinking about your color palette. Next on the list of classic items is this pair of dark wash denim jeans. These are a fail safe, again, for all seasons. Um, they're just a real go-to. Um, these ones are from Everlane. I love this style, so classic. But I do think sometimes dark denim, when worn in, a, in the wrong way can, I don't know, I just think it doesn't work. For example, I've paired it with an all black look and I think the black against the dark denim I just feel like it kills the denim. I think it's okay to have some elements of black with the dark jeans, but I do think this look sort of brings the denim right down and makes it feel a little bit flat. And I don't think this coat feels very proportional with the jeans. I think with this coat, you need a wider leg to feel a bit more modern. Whereas a straight leg, again, you just don't feel like there's any balance to the outfit. The tighter boots don't balance out this short puffer coat. Um, and I just feel like it's a bit kind of, I don't know, it's not very stylish. So by contrast, a way to wear denim, I absolutely love double denim. I think it feels really, really cool, but also so effortless. So I've got this shirt on, it's like a dark denim shirt by Bougessa with the denim jeans and that look of having the double denim is also really elongating. So if you are petite and want to kind of create an elongated um, line, then wearing head to toe the same color um, really kind of drags the eye right down. So that's one bonus to it, but I just think the double denim looks so cool. And another thing I've gone for is this oversized faux fur coat. And actually, all of these pieces separately um, aren't particularly trend-led. I mean, faux fur coats come back in year after year. And the same with a classic denim shirt. You can't go wrong with that. But then paired together and worn in this way just feels really fresh and modern. So I'm not saying go out and buy trend pieces per se, but maybe think about ways that you can wear your classics in a fresh and contemporary way. Um, a lot of you maybe don't think about wearing double denim and maybe have never tried it, but I just urge you to maybe give it a go and see what you think, um, because I think it's one, a really flattering look, um, but also it looks quite cool. And also just to note that the coat with it being beige works really nicely with the darker denim. Just that slightly lighter color really brings out the denim, I think. And finally, possibly the ultimate wardrobe classic. I actually do think it is the ultimate wardrobe classic because not only does it work for all occasions, not only can you wear it any season, but it also works for men and women. So this to me is just like something that everybody can wear at any time. So it's like the ultimate classic staple. Um, it's a white shirt, of course. So this one is from Weekend and Beyond. It's a slightly oversized fit, but any kind of white shirt will probably fit the looks that I'm going to show you. But to have a classic white shirt in your wardrobe, I personally prefer an oversized one, a classic kind of men's style white shirt works really well. Um, so maybe even look for a man's one or borrow a man's one if you are kind of thinking about wearing one. So the first way I've worn it, it's just with the dark denim jeans. Um, it feels a little bit, you know, it's a bit simple, isn't it? It's a bit not really thought out. I actually think this look would really work quite nicely with a pair of sandals in the summer as opposed to the boots. I think the boots just don't really help in this outfit. I don't think they provide anything kind of any, any contrast to the look. So I wouldn't wear it in this way with the jeans and the boots. It just feels a little bit boring. So again, just talking about injecting a few um, trend pieces, I've paired the shirt with these split hem trousers. They don't have to necessarily be split hem trousers that you pair it with, but just think about maybe something you already own that um, maybe is a little bit more trend-led to pair with your white shirt. So I've gone for the split hems as an example. And then the trainers as well, because the trainers 
unlike the boots, feel a lot more casual. I think the boots felt a little bit formal with the shirt, whereas the trainers just help to make the shirt feel a lot more casual. Again, it's all about that contrast. We have the formal shirt with the trainers and that's why the sandals would work as well because it's that contrast of casual and formal makes it feel so much more effortless. And then if you are in a cooler climate, you might want an extra layer. So I've gone for this gilet, again, something a little bit more modern and on trend, this boxy style gilet, which I think is sadly sold out now, but um, anything kind of similar, something boxy and sleeveless works well, or a really oversized blazer I think would look good with this. But really just think about those modern pieces that you can pair your traditional um, item with. So just a minute to ask if you could subscribe before you leave me, um, it would really mean so much. That is all the pieces, um, all five pieces and how I would style them in a modern way just to kind of give you that refresh to those classic pieces because everybody needs a wardrobe refresh. Um, as much as we can wear those pieces time and time again, it's nice to you know, think about them in different, um, more modern ways. So I hope that's been useful for you to see the kind of not do's and don'ts, but kind of before and afters, shall we say. Let me know if it has been useful, if you'd like to see anything similar. Um, I do go through your comments when I'm looking for my ideas. So any ideas and suggestions um, would be very much welcomed. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.